Destroy All Humans 1, but the PS2 version on the PS4. Let me explain some things. Let me explain everything. The only reason... I, I did want to come back to Destroy All Humans 1, because, I mean, I have it, and I, you know, I love Destroy All Humans. But, you know, we got the Destroy All Humans 1 remake, and someone would be like, why aren't you playing that? I have it, actually. Before, I didn't have it. I bought it about a month ago. Um, well, actually, it was like, went to the store, grabbed the game, and then my dad was like, oh, hey, that was, that was remade, you know, you played that, you, you want it again? I'm like, cool. So, yeah, I got Destroy All Humans 1 reprobe, so I thought, before I play that, I should actually fully go through the first one again. And apparently it's like super short, if I remember correctly, because as a kid, I, I, you know, I was shitty at the game. So, if I play the game again, you know, as I am at this age, it should be fast. Because apparently even the collectible hunting that I was doing was like really fast. Uh, apparently I went through both the first area and the second area like really fast. So, if the game is much shorter than I remember, this can just be knocked out really fast, and because I'm actually having to do a, a whole lot of level grinding in Yakuza 7, then, you know, this is something I just gotta do. So, I need to have something to upload while I can't progress in Yakuza 7 story at the moment, and this is the, one of the best things to do. Which is actually not leave the game behind, and actually, I mean, look at this, I was 41% complete. You know, I could have left off from where I was before, but I, I deleted the footage. I I was a complete idiot and deleted the footage. So what we're doing this time is I'm of course gonna go through the whole game and I'm gonna platinum the game as I play it. But this time, I don't plan on stopping, because I do want to play the remake. So, I gotta get rid of that save, and actually not, uh, be a dumbass. Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? I don't have my coming up or previously sections that I usually do in my videos for this, because I'm going to do that all in the remake. And the remake doesn't have any, like, revamped soundtrack to it, so... I think I only really love, like, one track from this game. The soundtrack is nice, but... Damn asshole shot me out of the fucking air! You turn the subtitles on if they let me later. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. 
Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this, but the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him, Crypto-136, to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured. Maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some granium. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. I tell you, man, Destroy All Humans won on the PS2 years ago. It was... God, it was the shit. Subtitles on. Do I want... The, oh, yes, widescreen on. So you gotta save my options there. I was at a 41% and now I'm back to zero, but that's fine. I need to actually... I need to actually pay attention to the game and look through everything. You know, since... Well, I'm gonna play the remake. I need to actually make sure I pay attention to everything in the game. As the as this goes as well, every time we go to uh, a different planet, a different planet, different area is when I need to go do my collectible hunting immediately. I think the PS2 graphics may hurt my eyes a little bit, but man, these were the fucking best graphics back in the day. This alongside with like Pac-Man World 3 is just some of my favorite PS2 games. I love that. We got... Oh, what the fuck? Orthobox to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. My brain isn't working. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! That being one of the fucking you may they're look covered in by nipples. physically manipulating the right analog stick. You can move about the area using the left analog stick. Alright, so this collectible hunting is gonna take Okay, that chicken just fucking cracked its own neck in front of me. Because it was so Crypto is so ugly that it couldn't handle it. You will be receiving psychokinetic telemetry from the mothership. The data will appear on that area map or as virtual indicators floating above noteworthy creatures and objects in your vicinity. Alright, so I'm gonna go do my collectible hunting and then I'll be right back. But I will continue to explain. Yeah, I'm not doing my previous year coming up sections for this because this version of the game is. Well, since I'm going to be playing the remake, 
it's better to put my best into the remake, and again, the remake doesn't have any, like, revamped soundtrack to it or anything, and there's really only one track that I absolutely fucking love from this game, along with practically what we're hearing right now, and that'll be the music I put in my coming up in previous week sections. And so it'll just make the videos easier to come out. <laughs> anyway, enough stalling, time to go get those collectibles. All right. I have returned from my collectible hunting. I've gotten them all. Only took around like eight minutes. We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. I just love the voice actor for Pox. It blew my mind. I was like, that's also the same as in. Yet profound. Scan another one. See, when I think of talking aliens, I'm thinking of Orthopox and Zim, and Crypto. They eat with their mouths. Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creature. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. Mm. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. There's I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. We Furons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis. Target an object or creature, then hold the L1 button. Keep holding, then tap the triangle button to lift the target into the sky. Hold Fucking L1 button, it. then hurl the bovines by double tapping triangle button. Hold on. Fucking just break its fucking body on the goddamn fence. Back into the water with you. See, look at that. We got we got a fucking ripple effect in the water. Some ma some games we got nowadays can't even do that. Eh. Goodbye. Eh. Goodbye. Come here, boy. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Oh. <laughs> Slam them into the ground! I saw oh, you walking in place. You didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner? Wait a minute. That ain't steak. That's... Holy mother... Martha, give me the give shotgun! Me the shotgun. <laughs> Attention. You do in I saw him T-pose. Just hold the R1 button. Try it now. Give that puny farmer a taste of the... The ragdolls in this game are one of my favorite fucking things. Harold, come on back! You gotta see this. They got a talking horse on the TV. I ain't never seen nothing like. Ah! Little green spaceman. Ah! I am not green. They're all the same person. Oh wait, what am I doing? Gotta get all the DNA I can. Get your ass over here. Needs all the DNA for my upgrades. What I really want to do is direct. Direct animals, that is, uh, from That's one field to the next. Hey, my DNA. Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. What is that? A new silo? Crypto! 
That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum. Don't suppose you'd know anything about that no Oh, the Furonity. Vaporize them, Crypto! Oh my lord! Uh, do I have my I just want to help you? <laughs> nah, we don't have the uh the thing. She was alive and I extracted her brain. But like, dude, she must not have. She didn't have any brains at all. Stop! I'm killing you! She was really dumb. Come on, buddy. Give me your brains. Crypto, my radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the saucer! To the saucer. Use your left analog stick to propel the saucer forwards Whoops. and backwards. And a straight left and right. To turn the saucer, you turn the right The first upgrade stick. I gotta do is upgrade the, the, the gun. It's pretty neat. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them! Now! Open fire! something and I hate that place. It's gonna be the suckiest area. Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the US Army. Right, good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. The invasion is on. <laughs> Cattle mutilation pandemic. Farmer disappears amidst cow abuse al 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 allegations. Oh, I wonder if they'll still have that in the remake. I really hope in the you remake they didn't You may stay and explore anything. this invasion site. I know you want to destroy more humans. But let's make this a little more constructive. I would appreciate it if you would retrieve our data collecting Furon probes. I have some investigative tasks for you, but you'll have to find them yourself. Oh, and extract as many brains as you want. Those humans won't miss them. Oh, and try not to cause too much of a fuss. One more thing. Your next assignment is waiting for you back at the mothership. Hold on, I got this. Here we go, here we go. Woo! He's right into the water. Anyway. Uh, return to the mothership. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? 
Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet, letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted, they represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. See, when I was a kid, I wouldn't I don't I didn't understand any of that shit. Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. Hmm? A saucer upgrade, perhaps? No? How about your gun or your abilities? Hmm? Yeah, yes. saucer upgrades. Your saucer oh. is in need of some improvements. You really don't treat it as well as you should. Step right up. Weapons. You know what they say about a Furon. Yeah, so, we can't upgrade the, uh, saucer right now. Roswell, Rockwell, Dun. Find a malleable human and lead it back to your ship for questioning. Get the picture. Now, look. Let's remember, this game is is also for kids in a way. In a way, this game is kind of still for kids, even though there is like adult stuff in here. Kids were playing this game, dude. All right. What what do we got over here? See, as a kid, I didn't know what this meant. You know. Of course I didn't know what this was. I watched Titanic and saw this exact same situation right here kind of happen. You know? Oh my god, can you see someone moving? I see... I don't know if that's just the chair or like the, the shadows. Anyway, we all know what they're doing in there. They're doing the deed. As a kid, I didn't even understand it, even after watching Titanic. As a kid, you don't even understand a lot of shit. You don't even know what people are saying. But, goddamn. Anyway, I'm gonna go look after the, uh, look after the probes, and then we'll be back to doing this. I need to remember how to change my weapon to, oh, there we go, we have the anal probe. Someone's getting the probing in there right now, that's for sure. Alright, so I went and got all the little, uh, things, and now I'm gonna continue with the stuff here. That's not the one I need to do, actually. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, it's just press circle on them. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, scan Man, is oh, mine. man. She might be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. Check out them cantaloupes. <laughs> God, I love America. This human seems to be onto something. Will wonders never cease. Keep scanning the humans. I want to marry Miss Rockwell, but instead I gotta sit here hour after hour, day after day, watching this dying wheel go up and down, round and round, over and over again until somebody dies. Hell of a metaphor. Yes, yes! Like proteins from the primordial ooze, a pattern is emerging. <laughs> Scan what? some more human minds, Crypto! 
Well, I broke the voice acting for, for, the, for the mayor. All right, Crypto. I've analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to... Probe and vaporize? No. Abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way's more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. Okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. Oh, damn it. Ooh, there it is again. That not so fresh feeling. I want to thank all the little people. But there's no I wanna be a cowgirl. But who would be my cowboy? Watch it, pal. Hold on to your hats, boys. I'm going commando. What? I'm feeling wild today. Maybe I'll try riding that thing bareback. Riding what thing? That Ike seems like the guy I'd want to have over for a barbecue. He's got my vote. Not that sleazebag Huffman. Mr. Ed versus Francis the Talking Mule. Now that's a debate I'd like to see. I'd put a carrot on Mr. Ed myself. What I need is Cary Grant and Gary Cooper. Now that's what I What happened to her? What? <laughs> I've never run into these problems, even on the PS2. Wait a minute. Where am I? This sure doesn't look like the pie eating contest. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's happening? Oh, God. Please. No. Oh, oh, it, it tickles. <laughs> It's probing time. Oh, yeah, right there. That's the spot. Oh, that is delicious. So vocal, so responsive. This is gonna be good. Never fail. Oh, right, now do I realize the dirtiness of these things? He's supposed to be getting in the saucer, but he Hurry, runs away Crypto. from it. The authorities are on their way. Get in your saucer! I'm going, Pox. Strange sightings have continued. Extra units have been sent to investigate. This is why I have to upgrade the saucer. So make the missions go a lot faster. Disaster at Rockwell Fair! Oh, the background is glitching the fuck out! It's going to give me a headache! Yeah, it's time to get the hell out of here. See you back at the mothership, you damn fools! I'm dipping.